Hey, what is up YouTube? Welcome back to Buddy Technobar and today what you're seeing now is the same amplifier that you've seen before uh, in the unboxing video. Well that was not actually unboxing, I just uh, showed you the kit. So uh, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you about the bridge mono amplifier and the, the studio, how to use a bridge mono amplifier to a studio and a studio to a bridge mono. So this is a bridge mono amplifier, it's not a, a single mono amplifier, you can see two pairs of uh, MOSFETs, there is a gap between and uh, one of them uh, would be IRFP250 and another one IRFP9250, same on this side and if you look carefully at the kit so you can see all the parts and how they are placing on the board. The same thing that happened here, they are same. So on this side, this can use as a separate amplifier. On this side, this one can use as a separate amplifier. So they can be work as a studio, but this is a bridge mono. So let me tell you the trick, how it became a bridge mono amplifier. As you can see, all the things are same, the pet, the pattern, the parts and everything. And you can see the small capacitor, the value of this one is 63 volt and 2.2 MFD. So this is the input, the negative side of this. You can see it's written here in, and this is the positive, this is the negative. And same on this side. So you can see the same capacitor and the negative side. This is a positive and this is a negative. And the in L in was uh, covered with the marker. So that's it. But now how it became a bridge mono, you can see this input is uh, shorted out with a using a jumper. You can see the positive to the negative so this input became negative that's how it works as a bridge mono amplifier so now you give the input here the positive and the negative so this side is negative and the positive goes on this side so from this side the signal goes to these MOSFETs and they produce the positive signal and from this side just the negative so this MOSFETs uh, produced a negative signal so that's way how it works so that's why this is the positive you are giving the input here so the positive output would be from this side this speaker output would be the positive and this side is the shorted out the ground the input to the ground so this side will be the negative so when you connect the speaker this is a positive and this is negative so because you're giving the positive input on this side so that's how you can uh, use a bridge mono amplifier uh, properly so hope you can understand if you have any question you can uh, ask me below in the comments so now if you want to use this as a studio so what you need to do just simply remove this jumper from here and this side will be the input for one channel so they become separate like you know this side will be input for one channel and this side you need to give the input for another channel maybe the left and the right channel now then so you're giving the positive input on the both side left signal and the right signal so then how would you connect the speakers so this one will produce a positive signal and this one will produ produce a positive signal too but they are for a separate channel this one is for the left one so you connect the positive left channel speaker to this hey, what is up you two welcome back to the techno bar and the negative ones will go to the ground so this way you can use this as a studio. So for studio there will be three output. This is a ground common for the both speakers. 
and this is a positive for the left one and this is a positive for the right one that's it and obviously you're gonna give input the right one the left one both channels so then this kit will work as a stereo so if you have a bridge mono amplifier and if you want it as a stereo then you can use it just like this as I showed you and uh, if you want a stereo amplifier like this as a bridge mono then you can use this trick this trick here you can see the jumper this is a simple trick so that's it that's uh, all for today hope you guys understood and uh, if you have any question you can definitely ask me in the comments below I'd love to solve your queries so that's it that's all for today so in the next video thanks for watching bye bye